You can get your toys? Get it. Meet Tumbles. Get it. He's just a fighter. A six-week-old terrier. As far as he knows, he's just a normal puppy. But he's not a normal puppy. This teeny, teeny, teeny little nubs there. Tumbles was born with two things puppies need. I've been doing dog rescue for 30-some years, and I've never had the experience of having a two-legged dog before. This tiny ball of fur... Where are you going? ...is Karen Pilcher's baby. Look, Tumbles. If she didn't rescue him from a friend's house, she felt no one would. Many places and many people would have put this dog down. But thanks to what's happening inside this 3D printer, Tumbles, Tumbles won't oh, be scooching on the broken. floor much longer. Oh. That's the sled. Joe Jolick. This is the axle. Runs the 3D printing lab at Ohio University. This is the first functional prosthetic we've done using uh, this printer. The sled, as he calls it, came from the head of Brad Reed. I ended up drawing it from scratch. It will take five hours for this high-tech scanner to lay down the microscopic plastic beads that will form the wheels and axle. Another eight hours to build a U-shaped harness. The trickiest part is getting the dog to then your dog can use it. The sled will allow Tumbles to lay on the breastplate. His back legs will push the front wheels. This is one of the first prototypes of Tumbles' sled. It was too big. The new one's much smaller. But when it's complete, he'll be able to eat and walk in this. And when he wants to go to sleep, they'll simply undo the Velcro straps and he'll sleep like a normal puppy. He was the runt. As for Tumbles, he's ready to start a new life. He's going to be able to get around a lot better. Thanks to a 3D printer that's giving back what he was born without. In Athens, Kevin Landers. He's a really fantastic puppy. 10TV News.